Good morning, YouTube. So I finally have my entire media server functionality moved over to my Synology NAS. So this is the DVB link viewer uh, with all the live TV channels. I have my TV recordings. And the final thing I set up was getting the electronic program guide or EPG set up totally on the Synology NAS. So let's go take a look at how that's set up. At the suggestion of one of my viewers, he recommended looking into this PERC data EPG loader, which is a package that DVB Logic offers for their live TV server. PERC data is a supplier of program guide data in North America. I, I know they cover the U.S. I think they may also cover Canada. This is an integrated program guide loader for the DVB Link TV server, and I'll show you a little bit about that later. To install it, you just click down here on the Package Center, click on the Program Guide tab, and then you install this uh, EPG loader for PERC data. It is a purchased product, so you have to activate it. You can get a 20-day free trial initially to just to check out, see how it works. And then if it's uh, good, you go ahead and do the Buy Now button. I believe the cost is between $15 and $20 US. That's a one-time fee. And once you install it, get it registered or activated, you come over here to Sources. So this is the Sources page, your TV sources. I have the, the four HD home run network TV tuners here. They're all set up. I showed you that in an earlier video. And then your program guide sources. I used to use XML TV, but I've switched over to PERC data. This source gets added when you install the PERC data package. To configure it, all you have to do is click on the wrench icon here. You enter your username and password from the percdata.com website. And I'll show you that in a little bit here. That's it. That's all the configuration you need to do. You come over here to channels. Here's your all your TV channels. I now get 123 channels of which 109 of those are unique channels. There's some duplicates. You can set up your favorites, your logos here, and you can do all the other channel uh, settings. The program guide where you assign channels to program guide listings is done over here in the EPG sources. You select your PERC data guide source, and that gives you all your TV channels that you have guide data for on the right. And on the left are all the TV channels that you physically receive. And you can come down here and do this automatic by name and by number assignment to get most of these. What I noticed on my most recent channel scan was I am now picking up this channel 45, which has eight or nine sub-channels on it. And I didn't have the channel 45 program guide data selected in my list. So yesterday I actually went in and, and checked off that I wanted to get the channel 45 program guide data. And that showed up this morning. The way you do that assignment here, I could do the automatic one, but I'll show you the manual process. So here I have channel 45.7. Here's the program guide for 45.7. You just click that arrow. Here's 45.2, 45.2. And now the Strange thing is the listings only go up to 45.8 in the PERC data listing. So let me look here. This is my TV source. Now, I don't know if that one shows up or not. Let's see if I have, yeah, I don't have a listing for this one. So there's still a few channels I don't have listings for. 
so I'll have to wait on those. But basically, I save those, and now I have my program guide. Most of my channels have listings, and I can control exactly which listing is used for which channel in case I need to fix some errors. And that's about it. You come over here to your uh, media library, and that's where we started. The one thing I noticed that's different, I used to use the XML TV before. Uh, here's a program I recorded on XML TV program guide. You can see it says Rowan and Martin's Laugh In. Here's the channel, the date, the time, duration, size. Here's the same program recorded with the perk data. And right there, you get the episode information. Shows up the episode. Here's the same data. You get pretty much the same data, but you get this episode number. And that is key because that's what lets you uh, pull down additional data. For instance, in Cody, you can get additional metadata using that episode number. So that's the main difference I see between the XML TV data that I was using and the PERC data. And let me show you uh, what that does for you here. Okay, so this is my DVB link recorded TV folder. I'll show you how I set up these recording names. I've been playing around with it a little bit. Here's my final version. So what I have is I have the name of the program, then I have the episode, and then the name of the episode. Now, for certain programs, for instance, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In was just a variety show. There is no episode name. But with this episode number, you can find out what the particular episode this was, because otherwise you just get these Rowan and Martin's laugh-in with a long string of digits here, 104, 6000, you know, what, what does that mean? Uh, you can't look that up. You can look up episode 36 and find out exactly what that was about. And for instance, here I recorded Get Smart. I had the uh, naming a little different. So I had uh, the series name, the episode number, and then the episode name and I'll show you how that's set up over here so we go back to setup and then we go here to settings and recorder and the way I did that I used underscore for the separator you can use underscore or dash or period I used underscore because that doesn't appear in the the program name listings so underscore was unique and I wanted a name for the recording that would play well with something like Cody. So what I have for my result here is I have program name, underscore, then the season and episode number, and then an underscore, and then the program sub name, which is basically your episode name. And that's what gets you programs that look like this, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, and then an underscore, episode 37, and then if there were a, an episode name, that would follow the episode number. That format plays quite well with Cody's media library. Let's switch over and we'll take a look at the Perk Data website and some background on that particular project here.